Welcome to another episode of Morning Guitar Videos in My Pajamas. So, I bought a Sun 200S, and I don't know why people pay as much money for them as they do. Um, it's like a clean amp with the volume turned all the way up. Very little distortion. I suppose if you're like a pedal person or you use effects to get overdrive and distortion sounds, maybe it's a good amp for you. It's got a lot of headroom. Um, but anyways, uh, I bought this thing pretty cheap because it needed help and I gave it some help. Um, I added two extra gain stages to it and a tube effects loop to kind of make it a bit more modern and have its own uh, overdrive sound. And uh, this is tough, man, I tell you. Um, if you're gonna be an ant builder, there's a lot to learn. For example, one component in the wrong place can have like totally like bad effects on a a noise and hum like just that one resistor I don't know if you can see that or not but just moving this one resistor has like a again just kind of like an effect on the on the noise floor of this amplifier anyways um i'm making this video to show you that it ain't easy um and it's a challenge but maybe maybe i can teach you guys some things while i'm struggling so and another thing that i wanted to show you in this video is uh blocking distortion <laughs> um i didn't know what the hell it sounded like <clears throat> um you read about it on the internet, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, blocking distortion is bad, but you don't really know what it sounds like until you hear it, and I think I heard it for the first time screwing around uh, with this tube-driven effects loop, or excuse me, this tube-buffered effects loop. Uh, so check it out, right? So, so, this is the amp. This is the amp clean. This is like the sound that the amp has clean uh, without any real significant modifications made to it. It's just going through two gain stages over here. Um, I added... I added another 12AX7 here and that gave me a total of four gain stages. Guitars in tune. I don't know if you can kind of hear that phasing sound. Um, it's made far worse when I add the effects loop into the signal path, and you can hear the blocking distortion clearly when I'm using the cathode follower in the effects loop. So. So check it out. So now the effects loop is active. Doesn't sound good. There's like some slowly changing clipping symmetrical clipping going on there and 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 that's the blocking distortion um so without without the effects loop without the cathode follower adding distortion to the circuit uh the guitar sounds like this with the four actually five gain stages because there's a gain stage inside the phase inverter it's a 6a and 8a phase inverter so there is a gain stage there and the other half of the tube is being used as the phase inverter. But blah, 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 blah. This is, what the, this is what it sounds like without that cathode follower adding more distortion 
and exacerbating the uh, blocking distortion sound. Uh, sit down so I don't suck. That doesn't sound good. When I use the cathode follower, it compresses things quite a bit. And it sounds, I don't know, more overdrivey. this kind of swirly phasey sound in the overdrive and I don't dig it um I'm gonna make a bunch of videos that kind of I don't know maybe help you guys modify these amps uh I'm not done and I'm gonna keep screwing around with this thing until I get it to sound good I'm almost there and once I figure everything out uh I'll clean up the wiring and whatnot um yeah all right, later, guys.